DHT blockers or inhibitors. We see big, long, scary list of oils to avoid, and those lists include sweet almond oil, emu oil, argan oil, hemp seed oil, some of our absolute favorites. The only two common carriers that we see that are considered safe or off of that list would be jojoba and castor oil. Now, what do we do with this information? Would it hurt your beard to use those products? What does this mean about the beard industry? Well, my name is Dan C. Bearded. My subscribers call me the trusted teacher for all things beard related because of information just like this. I'm gonna break down what all of this means and if you should be worried or maybe not. What is DHT? Now this is gonna be a super simplified summary. I could go way more in depth on this, but I wanna kinda of get right to it. DHT is a hormone that is a byproduct of testosterone. It is what gives men their male-like features, such as a deep voice, facial hair, and male pattern baldness. Now, if you have a sensitivity to DHT, your head hairs will eventually thin and fall out, AKA minimalization. Now it's that same DHT that's going to help with a healthy and fast growing beard. Now there are some unicorn freak men out there that have a lot of DHT in their system and have a big, beautiful beard, but they're not sensitive to it. So they also have a full head of hair on top. Pretty amazing, but that is just again, a quick summary of what DHT is. How do we know if an oil or anything else is a DHT blocker? Well, it's actually very simple. It is just the percent measurement of three different acids. I'm gonna throw them up right here for you guys to see with one, two, and three. Now, those are just measured. You can get this done at a lab. A lot of companies do this, and it'll just tell you the amount of these acids that can come together to be considered a DHT blocker. The answer to the big question, why you are all here. Should we avoid these DHT blocking oils in our beard products and on our beard? Well, no. This is ridiculous. This is such bad information. There's so many layers to why this is wrong and I'll do my best to break it down for you guys. I think the source of this spreading information comes from two different places, one malicious and one not. The malicious side would be from either companies that are trying to get a leg up and say everybody else is wrong by using these, we don't use them, or more likely it's from online bloggers that their income is solely dependent on people going to their website, AKA clickbait, trying to get people scared and look for information, spread information. Well, it's just poor. Well, the other side, the non-malicious, would be just flawed research. There is something in research that everyone is naturally prone to, and it is called confirmation bias. Everyone does this until you are trained not to. And confirmation bias is the idea that when you are going to research, there is an answer you want to find. Whether you know that or believe it, it is true. And this would be the idea that you are searching for information to fit your answers only. You disregard all information that goes against you and you stop once you find your answer. That would be the epitome of confirmation bias. Now we do have some stats that these would block DHT. Boom, case closed, over, hurts your beard. Well, you gotta go farther than that that I'm gonna break down in a little bit to show why it doesn't actually hurt your beard. Now, I have a bachelor's degree from the University of Michigan, Go Blue, and I have two master degrees, and I still struggle with confirmation bias. It's something I'm aware of and I'm fighting because it's natural. We all want to find the answers we believe to be true, but you have to be aware of that and really combat it when you're researching. Now, two points I'm gonna give you to why these oils like sweet almond oil or hemp seed oil are not going to harm your beard. The first one is, how are we using them? We are topically applying them to our facial hair and skin underneath it. That is not enough to be able to cause any harm. 
there are other methods of getting those products in your body that could be more troublesome. But applying it on the outside and letting it sink in is not going to have an impact enough to slow down the growth of your beard. Period. End of story. The second one is those same acids that we looked at, the three that are known to measure DHT blockers, are also amazing for your skin and your hair. When they are balanced properly, they can do things like promote hair growth. Now, there's a lot of lazy research out there that sees these things and promotes hair growth on your head hair. And if it promotes hair growth on your head hair, that means it must block DHT, right? It's working up here. It's got to hurt your beard. That's not true. You can promote growth for hair on your head, on your arm, on your beard, on your butt <laughs> with these same methods. It doesn't mean that it's blocking DHT. So those are just two reasons and there's many more, but no. There is nothing about sweet almond oil, argan oil, that is going to hurt the production, the growth, the health of your beard hairs. Do not worry about people trying to get blog clicks or trying to put down other companies by saying they are using products that are going to hurt your beard. That is just not true. This is also why I really recommend a great carrier blend because singularly there can be some issues there, but once you balance them out well, it has all of the benefits for your beard. So guys, do not be worried about DHT blockers with your beard oils. Now, there are some foods that can block DHT from within that can be a little bit more serious. There are some shampoos that are highly penetrating that can be a little bit more serious. I am talking about the carrier oils that we commonly find in beard products. So question to leave you guys with, have you ever come across this information before? Did it scare you? Did you look more into it? Or is this the first time you have heard any of this? Leave your thoughts down below, guys. I hope you learned something today, and I hope I put your beards at ease. The products that you are using, as long as it's from a quality company, are perfectly fine. Trust me on that one. Dancy bearded guys, I hope that you stay bearded and stay positive.